Uh, yeah, I mean, we just went out there. We just had fun. Uh, we played for each other. You know, that's what it's all about. Um, Coach Jay did a heck of a job, you know, uh, game planning with us. And I feel we just went out there and just had fun. Yeah, um, I think being through it before made it easier. And, um, <clears throat> you know, we, uh, we've been around them all year. For me and Nico, two years. So um, we trusted them and trusted in their game plan. And, you know, we had some fun out there with them. We had some fun. Yeah, Ooh, the, big fella, the big fella went crazy. Um, you know, that just starts from, like, freshman year, you know, being in the dorms together, you know, just joking with each other. A lot of off the court, you know, a lot of stuff you don't see. And then, um, you know, we talk about every game. Um, you know, he hits me on the back door cut a lot, so we talk about that before every game. Like, you know, find me right there. And then whenever he screen, he rolls so well, you know, he's so good around the basket that, um, you know, I trust him, just lob it up there and he'll go get it. So, um um, you know, we've built that a lot off the court, and it's, it's fun to see a show on the court. Nico, you gave some credit to your coach on the game plan. How do you describe his coaching style? Uh, you know, he's just for us. You know, he's a, you know we, are, we have a really good relationship off the court with him. I think all of us do, and uh, it just helps on the court. Um, we just went out there, and, you know, we played for him, and he coached for us, and just had some fun. Was it unusual having him kind of lead the timeouts and things like that? I saw him drawing stuff up on clipboards. You guys don't do that a whole lot. Yeah. Probably. Well, I mean, you know, it's always fun to uh, do something new. You know, we did something new, and uh, it worked. And, uh, yeah. What was everyone's reaction on the team when you guys found out that it would be Jay's coaching staff? Like Anthony said earlier, you know, we're used to it. You know, it happened before a uh, day of a game. And, uh, you know, we, like I said, we believed in Coach Jace, and we know he did a great job. And, uh, you know, we stuck together as a team. I mean, that's what the main point is. Um, you know, I, st I say starting from like when we got here, we've always, we've always been built to go through adversity and, um, you know, like two of the assistant coaches that recruited us left after our first year, you know, so it's like, um, it's, it's just the college business, college basketball, college sports everywhere, you know, um, it just happens. And, um, you know, Jason Willie did a good job of telling us like, just, just focus on the game. It's like, we just want you guys to have fun. And I think. Um, you know, we've taken the fun out of it a little bit. You know, the Air Force games, games like that, we've been, you know, too focused on the wrong things. And we should just be focused on what we came here for, that's to do school and play basketball with each other and have some fun out there. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, we definitely, you know, seven game losing streak. It was definitely tough. But, um, shoof, feels good to have this feeling again. Mm, what was that feeling? Uh, it was it was nice. I, the best part was Juan Sabino's jump shot. Honestly, <laughs> that, that was the icing on the cake. But yeah, it felt good to get that, and you know that's some momentum. And we plan, you know, to win more, and win as much as we can. Outside of Juan's jump shot, obviously the highlight was. I mean, you're playing with them. You had 26 points, career high. They had some length, even though they had lost all of their games in the conference. Did you know that coming in that you were probably going to need a huge win tonight? <clears throat> well, you know. Uh, they're like top top what ten in the country in in, in length, and uh, you know I just we go out there every day. We don't know who's gonna go off. We don't know who's gonna play the best. We don't know who's gonna do, but we know some way is, and we're gonna support them and give them the ball when they're getting hot. And you know one day is AB, one day is me, P, Dion. It's just, just it all changes up, and uh, you just gotta be ready for the day. But it's your 11th straight game with 10 plus rebounds. What's changed for you? I mean, it's pretty much been since January. Uh, <laughs> well, you know I went through a little. You know, drought with myself. Um, you know, during the non-conference a little bit, and then uh, you know, thanks to the coaches and my teammates and you know my parents, uh, they got me back on track. Uh, they talked to me, and uh, you know, I just went out there. I told myself I'm just gonna go out, have fun, play hard, do out, you know, rebound the ball, dive on the court, just do what I need to do to help the team win. And you know, that's, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, the coaches, uh, my teammates, you know, they never got mad at me for missing a shot. You know, <laughs> they encouraged me to shoot, you know, threes now and, and just have fun bringing up the court. You know, I'm just playing with it myself and just having fun out there with my guys. Coach, you guys kind of snapped that streak. What would you say? What do you guys like to see now? What do you should encourage them to do? 
you know, that's right now we're just trying to enjoy this win and, um, you know, work with the guys we have and, you know, use this as momentum going forward to win at Fresno on Saturday. No, they always encourage us to have fun. I think it was just so fresh that it was still on our minds. And, you know, today it was finally like, all right, man, like it's time to let loose. You know, we got to let the chains off, and we just got to go out there and hoop. That's what we did. Especially you don't play again until Saturday. Finally, you guys go by. I mean, yeah. the last in the league. How much is it going to be a little bit of time off? <sighs> man, that's going to be very nice. Catch up on some school work, watch some Netflix, lay around. That's going to be very nice. We need that. Yeah, we uh, um, yeah we chatted with him. Was that yesterday morning? Yesterday morning, this morning. Yeah, yeah, and this morning. So Both he's um, he's been proactive with us. We appreciate that. Yeah. Does that help? Does that help you? Maybe some of the just uncertainty that has been around for the last yeah. week plus. Yeah, because um, you know it's kind of weird finding some stuff out about your coach on social media before it gets to you. So we um, <clears throat> voiced that we wanted to you know speak man to man with him as a team. And I think I did think that helped a lot. Were you guys even a reason for Coach Barnes's uh, removal as head coach? No, no, no comment. How helpful was it? Because you mentioned it like you finally got some game field time, and you kind of came in for him. Was it how helpful was? Um, it was just nice because everyone on the team could say what they had to say face to face, man to man, with Joe P, and um, he could do the same for us. So. Um, I think it gave us all a better understanding and um, just helped us kind of refresh our minds, be positive. Do you think that made a big difference in how you played today? Um, yeah, I do. Anthony, obviously, Jace is quite a bit younger than the traditional D1 head coach. Is he a guy that you guys feel like you could you know, get behind and maybe make a run at the conference tournament with? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, uh, J credit to JC, did a very nice job, and um, you know he's we're very close with him. Um, you know he supports us through everything, which I feel Eustachian and Barnes did too. So that's not a knock at them, um, but yeah, I do, and I think you know just us as a team. You know we've been in every game. We haven't really been blown out in conference. Just we've been letting games go. So I think I think we're gonna shock some people in these next few games. Yeah, we're we're used to this, man. I mean, like I said, freshman year, two assistants left that recruited us. Uh, last year, the ineligibility, playing with seven guys. This year, this stuff. I mean, like I said, we're built for adversity, man. And I think down the road, a lot of you guys and the fans will see how much it actually helped us. I mean, you'll probably see a video. Um, yeah. <laughs> as soon as Coach Jace walked in, we know we, we get water and uh, water bottles, put it, uh, sprayed them with it. Um, he messed, and, uh, messed up his whole suit. Yeah, his whole suit. He said he only got two of them, so <laughs> we might have to pitch in to get him a new one. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, you know, Bino is, is our guy. You know, he doesn't complain about anything. Uh, he, he's with us. He helps us out. And, you know, last year he was like 0 for, I think, 30. When he got in the game, so we're just glad he hit one. <laughs> yeah, Juan's the – once a guy. lot of people don't see it, but that's, yeah. that's one of the most positive people I've been around. So, mm -hmm. very, very happy for him that he could hit that shot. You talked a lot about you guys built for adversity, but does that sometimes make it hard to have fun when you're facing so much adversity? Is that why a game like this is just let it all hang, let it all loose? And yeah, because you guys, you can just see it on the bench. You can see the expression, players, coaches, everything. Yeah, you just look relieved. Yeah, and well, you know, um, part of it's we're young. You know, we're all young. We're college kids. You know, we haven't dealt with a ton of adversity, you know, especially things like this. So we're just getting, you know, acclimated to it. And I think we're adjusting very well. And I'm proud of all my teammates, how they fought through it. And, I, you know, I got respect for all these guys. So, yeah, it, it was definitely nice to have this win and have some fun out there. You mentioned this a little bit, but you guys have been in all these close games and kind of losing the lead late here. What was different about this one where you were able to hang on to the lead and even increase that in the last five minutes? Um, we did a little situational stuff in practice um, yesterday. You know, we were up down 10 with five minutes left and, and try to come back and then up 10 with five minutes left and try to hold it. So I think that helps. Um, you know, we've been, you know, we kind of know, you know, we've lost a couple leads now in conference, so we're kind of used to it. 
of like we're be, we're ahead, so now we're we're a little bit more comfortable with keeping it. No comment no on comment. that one. You guys know if Jace is going to remain in coach, No like comment. Yeah. No, no idea. No idea. No. A lot has been made about Nico playing really well lately. You have really come on as, as well as uh, the last five games. I think you had 22 at 18, 13 tonight. You had 19. Are you just feeling more comfortable out there in your role and with your team? Yeah, feeling a lot more comfortable, man. Um, just kind of got out of my own head, like Justin had asked Nico about, just getting out of my own head and playing, you know, not um, second guessing myself, you know, just knowing I have the ability, I just got to do it and not think about doing it. So, um, yeah, it's helped a lot, man. And I give all the credits to my teammates and coaches, though, because even, you know, those games, zero, two, three points, whatever it is, they've always told me, keep shooting it, keep being aggressive, you know, so, yeah, feels good. I think we got the email about 10 a.m. that Jace was going to be the coach today. How did you guys find out that, that was Joe Parker had a meeting with us before shoot around the day and told us in person. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Anthony, was there any kind of uh, message from Coach Chase about him going more on a tempo? Because it seems like a lot of uh, defensive rebounds seem to get pushed up so quickly. Um, before the game, exact words. He said, go out there, hoop, have fun. He said, no, don't look at the bench unless I call your name. So just go out there and have fun, play basketball. So um, we, you know, before the game, we were like, man, we're just playing pickup with subs. Let's get it out and get going. So. Um, you know, I think, um, you know, any leader we've had here has helped us and, you know, every coach has something different to offer. So, um, you know, he offers that, you know, with much more and, you know, it's just, it was fun, man. Um, you know, I wouldn't say emotional. We we've been trying to stick together. You know, we talk in the locker room all the time, group chat. You know, talk. Hey, we just keep on going. You know, uh, we believe that we could make a run at this. You know, we've had the leads. We've had. I think our conference record doesn't show how how good we can be. You know, we lost some click, close games. Um, and I think uh, when you know Prince is getting 100 percent, Jeremiah is going to be back in a maybe a week or two when he gets healthy. I think uh, we could be pretty dangerous. Um, I thought the guys came out and competed and shared the ball. Uh, you know, we knew they weren't. Uh, they've been in. They've been in a ton of games. We knew they were going to come out and play hard and compete. And we asked our guys to go out there and play with the same confidence that they've played with before and and share the ball and do the things they've got to do uh, together as a unit as a group. So um, I, I thought they did that extremely well. Um, I mean, there's there's a bunch of guys you could sit here and talk about. I'm sure you guys got questions, but i you know. We as a group are very proud of that group, so that's 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 where we stand with that. And uh, thought they executed everything we asked them to do, uh, you know, with with the short notice and everything like that. So. Sounds like you had a nice moment there in the locker room with the guys. That's cool. Yeah, if it was nice for them, it wasn't very nice for me. I'm soaked and it's cold out, and I've got about two suits, so I gotta go get this one dry clean on a bye week. Yeah, I mean, I, I wanted them to go out there and I mean, everybody started playing the basketball game for the same reason, whether it was at eight years old or five or 14 or 15 like Quan. I mean, you go out there to because you get to play with your friends and you get to have fun. So that's what that's what we wanted it to be. And I, I don't need them looking at me asking what's next. They know what's next. They can go out there and do that. I think any team can lose lose sight of that when you're going through a little drought, uh, whether that's individually or as a group, making shots, not making shots, doing those type of things. But um, you know, sometimes it's looked at different, you know, more as a business for those guys. And I mean, we still got to remember that they're 18, 19, 20 year old kids that are out there playing the game that they love, and they should, they need to have fun doing it. And you know, that's I was proud of them for that tonight. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, it's been a while. So that that that's not what this 
stories about this, about these guys. And I mean, that's nothing to do with, with me, Pierce, JP, Tiffany, anybody else in that room. It's we're there to support these guys. And that's, that's, what, this, that's what this is about, is those guys winning the games. I just want to be myself. I mean, everybody's everybody does things different ways, um, and I just wanted to go out there and be myself and um, encourage these guys like I've like I've tried to do the whole time that I've been here at Colorado State, and uh, you know that that's what I was trying to do out there is just be myself for these guys. I mean, that's hard. I mean. When you're winning, that, that cures everything, you know. I mean, if, if we'd have been out there losing by 15, I can't tell you how the huddle would have been. So, uh, I, like I said, I was proud of these guys. I thought they played loose. I thought they played free. I thought they played fast. Um, I was hoping they didn't look at the bench other than when I needed to get their attention. And um, I thought they played with a lot of freedom and uh, a lot of heart. And, and they played for each other. That's what I thought. JT talked about you just wanted to be yourself. But obviously, yourself became I mean, maybe. I mean, I, the thing that I noticed most was when I was sitting in that locker room by myself that I didn't really like that before the game. So I walked back out to the, walked back out on the floor because I didn't really like that feeling of sitting in there by myself. But um, like I said, these, these guys know who I am, and I've been that way since I've been here. And if that if that gives them freedom and and the and the feeling that they need to go out there and play the right way and play together, then then that's good. But like I said, I'm I was raised a certain way, and I'm gonna I'm gonna act a certain way, and that's that that's who I am. I mean, I don't like sitting up here talking about myself because that's, I mean, it's about these guys and that's, I mean, it's a, it's a different feeling, you know, I mean, when you, when you haven't done that in a while, but I mean, that's the minute we were told it, it was us as a group and, and that's, that's what it was going to be the whole time. And, and that's, that's what the, that's what this is about is this group of guys and them playing together, having fun, having the experience at Colorado State. And that's, uh, that's what it's about. They do, and they, I mean, they're roommates off the court. Uh, they're around each other all the time. Um, you know, both those guys, they both put the work in, and that's what it's about. Uh, it's not just what you see out there. It's everything else that goes into it. Um, we talked to Anthony tonight to come in the game and be aggressive, and, uh, you know, a couple of those shots start falling, and, I mean, you know, he only has one turnover in 25 minutes. He wasn't out there being reckless or out of control or selfish by no means, and, you know, the ball found him a couple times late in the clock, and he made the play, and, I mean, you can – you could sit here and look at Nico's game and dice it up any way you want, but Nico's a good kid, and, and, and Nico played the way he should play, and that's, you know, the 20 rebounds is a lot, but we all know Nico's capable of that, and he, he had good shots around the rim. He hit a three, uh, and, I mean, that's that's who Nico I, – I think that's who Nico is, and that's what he can continue to be. Um, I mean, I just, like I said, I, I don't think, one, I really want to answer that. Two, I think, I think this needs to be more about the guys and who's in that locker room than, than anything else. So. Players said that Joe Parker told them about the coaching change during shoot around. Just wondering how you ended up finding Before shoot around. Before shoot around. Uh, no, it was, they, they spoke to me briefly and, and the other group of guys, and then we walked in there and, and we talked to the team before shoot around. Um, how can we help them win? You know, what, what can we do to put them in the right spots to help them win? And how can we be there to continue to support these guys? What does it mean to see guys like Gene Corbell publicly supporting you and the decision to make? Well, he better. <laughs> <laughs> I drug him all the way to Kansas, so he better. But, I mean, that's, that's who Gene is. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a very, very good kid. Um, he called me 37 times probably, and it will probably call me 37 more until I pick up. So he's pretty persistent, just like how the rest of his personality is. But 
um, like I said, that's I also know Gian's talking to those guys in that locker room, which is what's most important. I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, every, everybody handles things different for, from me to, to the other guys in there to the players. So more than anything, it's not how tough it is for, for Jace Hurl or Pierce Hornig or Willie Glover. It's how tough it is for, for Nico Carvacho and, and Che Bob, who's a senior and only has, you know, a limited amount of time left to play the game. I mean, I don't think you're ever ready for that that news in a particular time. But I mean, I, like I said, it's just it's being yourself, being who you are, being true to these guys, being true to yourself, and that's you know, I, I just happened to be the one that was standing up there a little further. I mean, I really enjoyed sitting there between Willie and Pierce and talking to them and 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 figuring out their thoughts on things. And so that's like I said, it's it's a group of us, it's a group of them, and and, and we're one big group. But it's it's about those guys. I mean, that's I'm I'm trying to see what we're going to do tomorrow. We got tomorrow off and figure out Monday and then go from there. How long have you seen the floor and have given a chance? I didn't. I mean, because I didn't know. I, I mean, I you know, in a perfect world, we'd have been up 20. You know, so I, I was glad he was able to get in there. How does this propel you guys through the bye week and then later on the rest of the season? What's that? How does this propel you through the bye week and the rest of the season? Um, just kind of a day at a time. You know, I mean, we got to get these guys healthy. Um, Get their, they get they got exams on Tuesday, so we got stuff we got to do academically on Monday. And I mean, if you know, one thing in this business and in life, we, we take it a day at a time, and we'll, we'll figure it out what comes next. I just turned thirty. Okay. Yeah, was, how, how just? January twenty fifth. Um, I mean, I think, like I said, I mean, I think the guys, you know, the guys let some things roll off their shoulders, and I think the guys are just, they were looking forward to playing the game, you know, and, and whatever whatever news is news and whatever else happens, they were locked in on playing San Jose State regardless who was who was standing up on that sideline or sitting down on that sideline. What did you think of uh, the players' decision to Um, that's that's those guys that got together, they met, they decided what they wanted to decide, and that's that's that. Do you think that says something as a, a team of uh, how close you've been? I mean, we've always known that. I, it didn't it didn't take anything like that to uh, to to know that these guys are together. I mean, you can't you can't go anywhere without seeing these guys together. So I mean, I've we have always known that. Jason, I'm not sure if you're at liberty to say, but did they give you a reason for why Coach Barnes was put on the booster team? I'm not. No. I mean, we talked to him right afterwards, so it was something that, uh, you know, we got together as a group and we talked, and um, they, 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 were, they were ready to play. They were ready to get the bad taste out of their mouth from Air Force and the games prior to that. So, you know, like I said, these, these guys were ready to play today, and that's, that's what it was about. Does your close relationship with these guys make you easier to coach them? I think just having the relationship with them in general, being able to, you know, anything from basketball to not basketball, I mean, the going out there and talking to them, pulling them aside, them coming through my office, you know, talking to any of us. I mean, so I don't think that has anything to do with how they played, why they played. I think they, you know, they put their foot in the ground and they decided they were going to play their, a certain way, and that's that's what they went out there and did. Maybe time to invest in a couple new suits? If you I may have to. Out. Yeah, I may have to. So. Nico suggested they might pitch in and buy you one. Yeah, I don't know if that's allowed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So. Thanks, guys.